Hey everybody, how's it going? I've got a really cool project that I'm working on right now and I want to share that with you. And this, I'm going to be sharing this on my own personal YouTube channel because I feel like it's more of a personal project and not necessarily a home built workshop kind of project. Basically what I've got is a, uh, I've got a right handed guitar here and uh, for those of you that know I am a guitar player and I play left handed. Um, but the price was right on this one. Um, it's not a real high-end one. It's uh, a fairly inexpensive guitar, but I am going to see what I can do to convert this to a left-hander, and we'll see how it goes. So first thing I need to do is uh, I need to disassemble it. We need, we're going to paint it. We're going to replace a bunch of parts and uh, see how it plays. So first off, before I do any of that, I need to move this strap button to this side, so that way when I put a strap on it, it's, hold, it, it's hanging the right way. So I want to do that first because then I've already drilled holes. I don't have to worry about sanding everything uh, or damaging any finish. And then I can fill this screw hole that's already there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that right now. These just screw on with a Phillips head screw. So we'll just take that out. Now I'll be able to fill that hole when I go ahead and paint it. I'm just going to eyeball this to the, about the center of the body. And just drill a new hole. I'm just checking it right now just to make sure that positioning is good. I guess it's kind of too late if it's not. It's already got a hole in it. That'll work. All right, so now I can really start disassembling things here. So I'm gonna pull this back off. And I'll pull the other one off. Save that little piece of felt. Now I'm going to go ahead and just get these strings out of here. Cut them. And we'll start by taking the neck off. The neck is held on with just four bolts here. Made in July of 1998. So there's a shim, a shim the neck at one point. I'm gonna save that, find out when you're gonna need that, and we put it back together. Now we'll pull the rear control cavity cover off. I'm gonna remove this a little spring claw. Now with the pit guard loose, I need to desolder a couple of these wires so I can pull everything free. We're replacing that anyway. There's our pick guard. And everything is disassembled, so now we have just the body. There's no hardware on there at all. Now we can sand it down. I'm not gonna sand this down to bare wood. I just wanna get the finish roughed up so the new paint will stick to it. 
And there's a couple of dents and nicks in there that I need to fill with a little bit of wood filler. Basically when you're done sanding you don't want to see any shiny spots. If you've got shiny spots in there that means you haven't sanded that part yet and uh, the paint may not stick too good. So you need to go back and touch that up. I'm just taking some wood filler and filling that screw hole where the original strap button was. Just pushing it in there with my finger. I'll leave a little bit of bubbling out so I can sand it flush. There's also a couple little nicks that I'm going to fill. Let that dry and then sand it again. I'm going to use some compressed air to blow all the dust off of it. Then I'll wipe it down again with a rag. I'm going to mask off the neck pocket to keep any paint off of there. I don't want any paint in there because the paint can change the dimensions of that neck pocket slightly and cause the neck not to fit back on properly. You may have also noticed I didn't really sand the control cavity and that's because this area is going to get covered with copper foil shielding tape. So I'm not really worried about the finish. I'm gonna paint this guitar a flat black. It's a paint and primer all in one. I'll start out with one coat. I'm not worrying about covering everything up just yet. Just need a good base coat down and then we'll add several more coats to get a good fill of paint. Here's the body after about four coats of flat black paint. I'm gonna hang it up and let it dry overnight and we'll pick it up again tomorrow.